Hello and happy Pride Month, everyone. I know, I know there are only a handful of days left in Pride Month, but all the same, happy Pride. And as part of the celebration, let's talk about David Tennant winning the British LGBT Plus Celebrity Ally Award. He was very humble and, of course, also very genuine, showing love and empathy. In his acceptance speech, he mentioned that just being a person who acknowledges that other people have the right to be who they want to be shouldn't merit an award, but he was honored all the same. He also said pride isn't just a word to him. They actively celebrate in their household because they have skin in the game. David and his wife Georgia have five lovely children, and they are very protective and loving of those kids. They rarely show pictures of their children publicly on social media, but Georgia Tennant, who is very active on Instagram, recently did share a series of photos showing their family participating in a school pride celebration. Their child Wilfred is non-binary and goes by they, them, and showed off their pride with this rainbow outfit. Their daughter Doris also showed up in an amazing pride-themed outfit. Georgia had a pride t-shirt and David wore a transgender ally t-shirt that read, you'll have to go through me, while also holding a progress pride flag. As someone who also has skin in the game, I find myself very moved. David is well-loved by fans, and I'm so thankful that he and his family are using their platform and voices to speak out. None of this support and allyship is new for David, who also donned a t-shirt reading, Leave Trans Kids Alone, You Absolute Freaks, at a press event, along with a rainbow pin in the colors of the non-binary flag. And during a BBC interview on November 20th, 2021, the Transgender Day of Remembrance, Tennant wore a pin showing a trans flag colored TARDIS from Doctor Who, which is just amazing. Where can we find this merch, please? If you would like to see the full acceptance speech of the LGBT Plus Celebrity Ally Award, please stick around to the end of the video where I've included the full nearly two minute speech. And David Tennant is not the only Good Omens actor in the spotlight this week for their activism. Michael Sheen is currently in the news for an entirely different sort of story. He was very recently part of the BBC podcast Buried, in their new season called The Last Witness, and he was more than just a celebrity cameo guest. This starts to sound like an episode of Only Murders in the Building, but it's all real. The most shocking thing for you was um, to uncover during this investigation? I think the most shocking thing that has been uncovered is the scale of the problem, the scale of the potential danger to people, not just about this particular aspect of it, but what this is connected to, the idea of forever chemicals, the idea of um, uh, toxic chemicals that don't degrade, how prevalent it is, how uh, much it's sort of in our lives. Um, and it's so overwhelming when you start to discover the truth about this, that I can see why it makes people not do anything about it because it's too much. It's almost too much for our brain to take in. So that was the most shocking aspect of it for me, really. And what do you think, what do you want people to get out of the series if they could take one takeaway from it? The one thing I want people to take away from this is to say, is this is going on and something needs to be done about it because there are people who are potentially in danger. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of communities and someone needs to take responsibility for it and to do something about it and make sure, please God, you know, it's not a problem, but let's make sure that we're uh, proving that to be the case. Listen to Buried, The Last Witness on BBC Sounds. It is an absolutely amazing story. It's quite the journey, both emotional and educational. Michael is a man of many faces, and the story itself is very important. I really highly recommend you take the time to listen to the full podcast. I've linked it in the description. It runs a little over two hours. Now, let's turn to happier news. The Acme Comic Con in Glasgow, Scotland. This convention has the absolute joy of having one of the main Good Omens props on display, and it is, as they say, a world exclusive. That's right, it's the Season 2 Bentley. Now, I would have phrased this as a guest appearance by a beloved character if I'd been writing this press release, because everyone loves the Bentley. Us, Neil, Crowley and Aziraphale, and we all know it loves Crowley and Aziraphale back. In any case, at this convention, I doubt you'll be able to touch it, but it does mention bringing your cosplay as there will be photo opportunities. In addition, Tim Downey, who plays Mr. Brown, who definitely has a crush on Aziraphale, will be a guest speaker as well as affording the opportunity for photographs and autographs. I didn't realize he was also the voice of Gale in Baldur's Gate 3, who I definitely did not romance. Personal side note here, I would love to attend this. 
Sets and props are some of my favorite things, and I bet this is going to be a really fun experience for those who can attend. If you get a chance to go, please feel free to reach out to me. My business email is on my YouTube page or through Tumblr and share pictures from this event. Acme Comic Con is September 28th and 29th, about three months from the release of this video. I have no idea how quickly their tickets sell out, but if you're interested in attending, I have included a link to their official website down in the description. I'm going to wrap up with a single post shared by Neil on his Tumblr concerning this famous photo of he and Terry. If you're just listening, this is the photo where they are in the mouth of a mausoleum, Neil in black with his sunglasses, and Terry all in white standing in the mausoleum door. Neil shared the whole story, saying, Terry borrowed the white jacket from our editor, Malcolm Edwards, and grumbled that it did nothing to keep him warm on a very cold day. Sometimes you just have to be cold to look cool, I told him. It's all right for you, he said. You're wearing a leather jacket. You could wear a leather jacket, too. I'm wearing white, said Terry pointedly. That way, when they come after us for writing a blasphemous book, they'll know I'm the nice one. I am the nice one. I just wanted to share that to end on a beautiful note. And now for that promised acceptance speech from David Tennant. With a slogan, I attract the ire of the occasional online idiot. Um, but I don't have social media, so even I have to be told about that by my brilliant wife, Georgia, who is the real engine behind anything we do. Uh, she educates me about uh, empathy and understanding, and, and she uh, has been a, uh, a huge educator for me. But I, I think, I suppose, if I'm honest, I'm a little depressed by the fact that acknowledging that everyone has the right to be who they want to be and live their life how they want to live it, as long as they're not hurting anyone else, should merit any kind of special award or special, me special mention because it's common sense, isn't it? It's... <laughs> it, is, it is human decency. We shouldn't live in a world where that is worth remarking on. However, until we wake up and Kemi Badenoch doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> I don't wish ill of her, I just wish her to shut up. <laughs> Whilst we do live in this world, I am honoured to receive this. I'm thrilled to be here and to be a part of this night. Pride is very important in our house. It's a family affair. We have skin in the game. So this event tonight thrills me. It gives me hope. It gives me fire. It gives me energy and deep joy. And even if I feel I don't really deserve this, I'm very pleased and very proud to be receiving it. Thank you all so much. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank all of my friends and Discord staff, and I really do need to thank my patrons once more for supporting this channel and all the things we do here. So thank you. And of course, to you, dear viewer, as always, thanks for watching.